up everybody this is Matt from Survivalist 2012 what we're going to do today is we're going to do some bug out bag cooking and the purpose of this video is to kind of show you guys to be familiar with your bug out bag the location of everything that you need with inside um, so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to do some cooking directly out of our bug out bag and we're not in no big hurry so what we're going to do is we're going to cook with our canteen cook set we're not going to use the trioxine tablets and we're not going to use our little micro stove because we're not in any hurry so what we're going to do is we're going to get into our bug out bag. We're going to find what we want to cook. And this is going to be the chicken teriyaki with rice. We're going to find everything inside of it that we're going to need to get this little fire going. And the, port the important thing of this is being familiar with your bug out bag. Get familiar with the contents, using them, knowing how to use them. And knowing where everything is that's the most important thing so we got our uh, ferro rod here we're going to be using that also going to be using we're going to make a fire so i got a little bit of uh, dryer lint here keep it in my bug out bag um, my bug out bag is always a work in progress so you may see some new contents in here um, that's different from my previous video it's always a work in progress i'm always trying to update it and make it better so I did throw some dryer lint in there. The stuff lights up like you wouldn't believe. Lights up really fast. We'll be using that. I just want to show you everything that I got. You know, you've got your trioxine tablets and, you know, uh, let's see. Here's these little S-bit tablets. All these things go great with this uh, canteen cook set. Put all that back in there. Other things in here that we may be needing. Should be a small axe. Your survival knife. And then I added these in here because I use these all the time. Um, they're diagonal cutters and they work great for cutting up small pieces of wood. They work great for cooking with the canteen cook set. Cut up real small pieces of wood without having to break them or anything like that. in here. My light my fire sport is not in here. So look at me, I'm not even prepared for my own my own video. So we'll have to improvise. Come up with something else to use other than that. Which you know we always have our survival knife. So we can improvise with that. So what I'm gonna do is get everything set up for you guys. Let's get my bug out bag out of the way here. My U.S. military issued uh, canteen cook set comes with your canteen. This is the bottom portion of it for the SBIT tablets or the trioxine. And that's what we're going to be starting the fire underneath right here. You got your canteen. Cut. So what we'll do is we have a whole bunch of little pieces of wood over here cut up and ready to go. I'll go ahead and get a little fire going for you guys. Actually, I bring you up and close, up close and personal with it. We are doing it inside my little fire pit here. So now you guys are up close and personal. Get this little fire going. Basically, what I'll do is I'll take some of this dryer lint here. Right in the middle there. Got our ferro rod. This is made by Light My Fire. Get that going. Start throwing in little pieces of wood here. Another thing that's cool guys is it's always good to keep around a little bit of uh, coal from a previous fire. Stuff lights on fire really, really quick. Okay. 
get this fire going pretty good. sure you guys already know but fire needs a lot of oxygen and when you're getting it started for the first time it's always good to uh, give it as much oxygen as it needs to get going and we got that little fire going we we'll take our little windscreen here and pop it right over top here and the good thing about these windscreens is you can always feed them from underneath. So you take your, your little piece of wood. And the good thing about these diagonal cutters is you can always slice a little piece of wood in half and feed it from underneath. So you keep that fire going from that little hole in the windscreen. Take our canteen cup. Now I know these mountain houses pretty well. They all require about two cups of water and two cups of water in this canteen cup is about right there so we'll go ahead and slap this on and get this boiling once this is all boiled we'll go ahead and throw the water in our little mountain house deal right here we'll be right back guys all right guys we're back i had to improvise a little bit by putting two pieces of wood get the the fire going a little bit more but uh, as you can see, we have a nice uh, roaring boil, boil. Get it up on there so you guys can see it. And with the directions of this uh, mountain house, it just calls for two cups of boiling water and you pour it directly in the pouch. So I'm gonna grab my gloves because the handle's probably hot. Pour it directly in the pouch. And then use your little Ziploc. Keep it in there for about eight minutes. And we'll be back to show you guys the finished product. All right guys, there's your finished product. Look like pretty good meals. It's enough to feed two people. It's got some peas and rice and chicken and mushrooms in it looks pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and enjoy it so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh get out there and practice with your bug out bag so we'll see you guys here soon until then this is matt with survivalist 2012 peace